ridiculous. We can't even park by that hotel. Hello? James McCadden. We're calling in regards to your overdue yeah, payments, uh -huh. totaling an amount of six thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, Sir, we're gonna have to start repossessing property if we don't receive oh, the yeah? minimum payment like of one hundred and fifty dollars. Who's that? No one. Just don't get this. What don't you get? This whole idea of geocaching. I mean, what the hell is that? God, sir, I've explained this to you like nineteen times. Yeah, well, I just don't get it. I just don't get what's so hard to understand. It's like a high-tech scavenger hunt. You take a GPS to locate buried items, most of which are located somewhere around town. Yeah, I get that part. What I don't get is why I am in Cheyenne on a scavenger hunt. Listen, all I'm trying to do is be more spontaneous and find things that we can both do together. And all the other crap that you bitched your friends about that we don't do enough of. Wow. Wow, James. So, uh, you what you're telling me is that I should be grateful for this rare opportunity to spend my time getting dragged all over Wyoming looking for something buried in the sand that might not even be there. God, Sarah, why do you always have to be so difficult? I don't know. Why do you always have to be so insensitive? I think this is it. This shouldn't be too bad. It's not too far from here. There will be some hiking, though. Hey, babe, you okay with doing a little bit of hiking tomorrow? I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Come on, Sarah, look. I'm sorry, okay? Look, Sarah, I just really want a nice weekend. It's been so long since we've spent time together without fighting about stuff. You're right. Hiking, huh? How far is it? It's not too far, really. It might be a little backwoods-ish. I mean, it uh, wouldn't be too fun if they hit it out in plain sight now, would it? They wouldn't want to make it too easy now, would they? Nope. Oh, uh, good night. Uh. Oh, there's something completely different. See, I told you it was a good idea to come here. You got free breakfast. Yeah, I guess. You guess what? Nothing. I'm gonna go put the bags in the car. Okay. Rough morning? <sighs> no, it's just kind of the usual. Who's this? No one. New friend? We are just chatting. Come on, let's go. I haven't finished my Let's toes. go. It should be over that hill over there. We've been sitting this close for like an hour now. It's cold. Can't we just turn back? I mean, there's got to be places closer. I, why are we all the way out here? Look, Sarah, there's supposed to be something valuable here, okay? Valuable. Oh, do not tell me this is about money. I swear to God, James, what is wrong with you? Me? What is wrong with me? Yeah, go ahead and try to blame all your unhappiness on me, just like you always do. It's always about you and your goddamn money issues. I actually believed it. In the car, the hotel, that this trip was about us. Us, James! I am so sick and tired of the same argument, Sarah. Do you realize how much debt we have right now? Do you realize how many calls a day I get from bill collectors? Do you realize that we are in the financial gutter right now? So yeah, excuse me for trying to put food on the table and roof over our head. Real selfish. I wake up every morning unhappy, feeling unloved and unappreciated, and I'm scared every day. I'm tired of being scared, James. I know that you are not the only cause of my fear and unhappiness, but you are a main one. 
I love you. But I feel like all I get in return for that love is verbal abuse and, and an overall sense of contempt. I'm scared because I feel like I don't mean anything to you anymore, that all you care about is money. And I get that you are trying to support us, I get that. But what this obsession is doing, this idea that we're not gonna make it, it's killing us. Whoa, Sarah, I had no idea you felt Just like that. Forget it, James. Forget it. She's gonna be okay. It's all gonna work. This is it? Dear Traveler, Whatever has brought you on this journey, whether it be the pursuit of wealth or knowledge, I hope that what you found will not disappoint you. For what you have uncovered is undoubtedly the most valuable thing anyone can find. Love. In this life, material things are fleeting. They come and go like the changing of the seasons and are only a source of temporary joy. For those who have found love are truly blessed. For there is a treasure worth pursuing and undoubtedly the one that should be held onto more so than any other thing on this earth. Sarah.